In a previous course, we discussed planning in the context of lean construction principles. A vital component of the implementation of lean construction in the field is found in the last planner process, which focuses on the reliability of foreman planning. Reliable foreman planning, which forms the basis of assigning work to crews, is essential to the efficient execution of a construction operation. Activity planning is much more likely to be reliable if the plan exhibits four quality characteristics. Definition. The assignment is clearly defined with a definite start and finish. Soundness. All required resources will be available when needed. Sequence. The activity fits into the sequence necessary for the project, or if several options in sequence are available, the best sequence is chosen to move the project forward. And size. The amount of work assigned to the crew is correct so that the work can be completed within the allotted time without overworking the crew or leaving slack. Work assignments that are made accounting for these considerations will be much more likely to be completed as planned than if such considerations are not adhered to. This can be verified by measuring the effectiveness of planning, which is accomplished by comparing, at the end of the planning cycle, the number of activities that were indeed completed to the number of activities planned. On a traditional project, about 50% of the activities planned are completed. Research has shown that planning based on the four quality characteristics will generally increase reliability by about 30%. This increase in reliability of planning results in many positive outcomes, such as lowering cost, increasing safety, improving the schedule, and not least of all, improving trust on the job. Craft workers began to trust the supervisor's planning. Another aspect of this process is to collect data on planning failures. When there is a planning failure, i.e. a planned activity is not finished, if a root cause analysis is carried out to find the reason or reasons for the failure, Chronic problems can be identified, and steps can then be taken to eliminate these chronic problems. For example, if material supply is recognized as a chronic problem, the project manager can work with the supplier to correct the problem. If timely and correct information is the problem, improvements can be made to the information dissemination process. The project manager should take care in collecting data on planning failures, as this can create other problems. If planning failures are the result of a project executive's impeding information flow or an owner's representative making delayed or poor decisions, dealing with such problems can be very tricky and require exceptional diplomacy.